So this is our first question. Um, it says, Jonathan, can you talk more about casual relationships? Can you talk more about casual relationships? I'm glad this question came up and it, it centers around something. I, oops. Um, uh, it centers around what I'm noticing quite a bit more is the proliferation of casual relationships. And why this is such an important topic to talk about right now is because I am witnessing more and more women who seek casual relationships. In fact, this weekend I met up with uh, a woman who lives in my complex here and we met up at the pool um, and we're friends. Uh, she was my former Pilates instructor. And we were just sitting down chatting and she was talking to me about her Hinge app and how she was actively, you know, was dating and that sort of thing. And she shared with me something that she's doing these days. And I thought that might be some value because it really leans into the conversation of casual relationships. And what she said was she recognized that at this moment in her life, she's not really capable emotionally for a full-blown serious relationship. Let me repeat that. She's not capable for a full-blown serious relationship. So she's very upfront early on in the dating process with men to say, look, I'm here seeking a casual relationship with someone. Now for her, what that means is she'd still like monogamy. She'd still like exclusivity or, you know, in other words, once she's in a relationship with someone, she's not interested in dating multiple people and she's not interested in having sex with multiple men. But what she wants is a relationship that's a little bit more casual without the pressure of constant communication, constant validation, constantly seeing each other. In fact, when I was talking, sharing this with her, it seemed, I said, you know what it seems like you desire? You desire what I call relationship light relationship light, L-I-T-E, relationship light. And while I'm a big advocate for partnership-based dating, partner, well, let me reframe that, partnership-based relationships and to be more intentional in the dating process, I, and, and by the way, she said, well, I am very intentional. I'm just seeking something casual. And then I said to her, well, it seems like you're like a guy. And she goes, yeah, I kind of am like a guy because what I've observed is a lot of men, all they're capable of a, is a casual relationship or something like. So what's the benefit of talking about this? Well, the reality is, is it's probably 70, 75% of men are in, in the dating realm for those in midlife, which is after baby making years and before retirement, there's a good chance all they really desire is that companionship, connection and sex without that deeper intimacy, without that deeper desire to commingle your lives together. And in many cases, that might be a very adequate relationship for many people. In fact, it's probably for women as well as men, if we stopped with some of the rhetoric that another, again, this requires being on the same page. This requires being intentional with one another. It's very difficult when a man says, I want a casual relationship and a woman says, I'm okay with that. When she really means she wants a serious relationship, well, then you're not really on the same page. When you're on the same page with one another, you have a greater chance of connecting with one another and to actually, while you might not build that long lasting forever type of relationship, for a lot of people in midlife, they want that companionship, they want that connection, they want that sex. Maybe it's okay to just want a casual relationship. I think what's most important also, and this is the critical piece, is, and this is what I shared with her, is that you continually check in with one another to make sure you're on the same page. Because the worst thing that can happen is one person wants something more and some, so one person wants something more and the person, the other person is where they were at. And that space in between is what I call drama, drama, drama. And oftentimes when that is like that, that space in between is because the woman wants more and the man's still here and she's creating drama. So I'm here to encourage, while I'm not a big proponent of casual relationships, I think there's a time and place for casual relationships that's better than a 
friends with benefits type of relationship because a friends with benefits type of relationship is oftentimes a last minute booty call. Whereas a, a casual relationship has all the makings of the companionship connection and sex without the emotional pressure of where's this relationship going or commingling your lives together. And I believe for many people in midlife, they should actually be probably seeking a casual relationship rather than something serious because they're not capable of going into something serious. And this is true for men and women alike. Now, I'm only advocating this for the people who want who feel deprived of connection, that want connection, but they're not capable of going anything deeper. So casual relationships, I can see my, I, I think the idea of relationship light might be a benefit for a lot of people and you can continually check in and what might also happen is you grow and grow together and that casual relationship might, not always, turn into something serious, something that's long lasting and something where you might go the distance with them. Because when you really deeply fall in love with someone, you're more apt to go the distance with them. Again, what's most important is you're on the same page with one another. So I invite you to check that in. Thank you so much for that question. I really appreciate it.